Hey everyone, welcome to Shoot On. We're out here in western Oklahoma in uh, end of October, hunting with uh, Tom Hall. Now Tom is the president CEO of Traditions Muzzleloaders, so we've been uh, been out here chasing whitetail for about a week and have had a little bit of success, I think. Anyway, having a lot of fun. And uh, you know, muzzleloaders are increasingly becoming more popular with uh, not only with hunters but just shooters in general, or people who are transitioning uh, from archery, or you know, gun hunters who are just wanting a little bit more of a challenge uh, to their hunt sometimes. And uh, there's a lot of questions people have, especially beginners. But uh, one of the things that that we come across with our readership is people failing to know or understand that there is a direct correlation between the technology that we employ for uh, fine-tuning our uh, centerfire rifles as far as load development and uh, getting that desired point of impact as it relates to muzzleloaders. Muzzleloaders uh, follow the same theory uh, of all of this. So, you know, your bullet weight, powder charge, uh, barrel length, all of that has the same correlation as it does to a centerfire rifle when it turn, when you know when it comes down to looking for that uh, that accurate shot and of course matching up your bullet to whatever your mission is you know whether you're big game hunting uh, you know hunting something a little bit lighter like whitetail deer so uh, traditions has just come out with uh, another twist ratio on their popular uh, let's say that was the striker fire and the pursuit rifle Correct. bottles. So uh, I wanted to have Tom talk to everybody about what that is, you know, what that really means and what kind of advantage having that option delivers to the consumers who are, who are coming into muzzleloaders or those of you who've been doing it for a while and just are looking to eke out that extra bit of accuracy. So you want to explain a little bit about the, the options that you're offering? Sure. So the 1 in 24 twist and the 1 in 28 twist. The 1 in 28 has been on the market for years and that was originally designed um, more for the break action rifles that were shooting basically at that time a handgun bullet. It's 44 or 45 caliber handgun bullet. And since then, there's been more offerings in the muzzle loading bullet arena, if you will, in the market. Mm -hmm. um, we offer um, many different styles. We have the carnivore, which is more of a hunting style bullet, where the polycarbonate tip comes in, in 250, 275, and 305 mm -hmm. grain. Then we also offer an XR bullet, which is a 200. 220, 230, and a 250 grain bullet. That's designed for long distance, long, longer distance shooting mm -hmm. um, for whitetail or smaller game and stuff like that. And then we have the bleed bullet, which is a non-lead um, bullet, which is 170 grains. So what we were looking at is the one in 28 twist to see if it's the best twist for all different types of bullets that are offered on the market. Not only ours, but also some of the other major brands. Mm -hmm. And we found that the one in 24 twist allows the shooter to shoot a 170 or a 305 grain bullet, doesn't matter what, what variety. It just gives them that little extra performance over a one in 28. And we see with the muzzle loading cat, uh, market right now that we're getting new shooters that are coming in there. We're getting people that are coming back to the sport from many years ago mm -hmm. because of new technologies that are involved. And um, we want them to have the best experience, but also the most accurate experience. And I think some of the people that are out there today that are using the guns, they want to get a more accurate gun. They want a better grouping, just like what you're saying, just like centerfire. And you can do that more economically today, especially yeah. with the price of ammo, right? So it allows them to go out and shoot muzzle loaders and, and do the same thing as some of the centerfire as far as accuracy and knowing that it's gonna perform. And you're right, bullet twist, I mean rifle twist, bullet, powder, primers, all that have to be, work up that formula and you'll get the, the, the results with your muzzle orders up today. Right, so the one in 24 option now is gonna be allowing everyone to, to even further refine their, 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 their rifle, their barrels favored load. Right. So you know, it just opens up a whole lot more options. So, you know, cutting down on that, a lot of people we, we hear, even when we're going to a public range, um, you know, we see the frustration sometimes, you know, and there's all kinds of variables, obviously, that go into accuracy. I mean, right down to, are your scope screws, you know, tight? I mean, we've seen that many a time. But, um, you know, having, having the ability to play around a little bit more with that, with that 1 in 24 twist and a wider variety of bullet weights and uh, you know charges that that is part of the fun of muzzleloader hunting is, is it's you're hand loading every 
round, every shot. So, you know, you may not be, you know, loading brass, but it's the same principle whenever you're loading up a muzzle loader and trying to fine tune that uh, that point of impact. So, well, that's pretty exciting. Uh, we had a had a good time with uh, experimenting with these uh, this week. Uh, I think we've got we got one afternoon left. A couple <laughs> couple guys in camp haven't uh, a guy and a gal in camp haven't yet fulfilled their tags. So we're gonna see if we can't help them out. So we'll wrap up and uh, head over to the lodge and see if we can't uh, lend a hand. Sound good? Great. Sounds All right. Great.